Ready when you are, Father. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Raditz Hosker. The one you know as Raditz Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim, of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Alpham yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole, activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. I do remember we don't have the Unity Stone to let us jump off, right? Of course he remembers! Right, brother? Of course I remember. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. <sighs> Brock, what do you think about fate? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere, or it ain't. Still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down.
Are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. You got some slag from the homeland, huh? Hand it over. I'll fix you up something. I think it means seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms and keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad, and a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts, or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit, even occasionally. Yeah, sorry, Mimir. Ah, there you are. I knew Master you hadn't Kratos, forgotten me. I will speak with you. Here, do you know how to talk to? Of course. We were just catching up. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfron was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hide stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seem better in Alphine. <laughs> Did they now?
Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. <sighs> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. That radio from above. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting Norn your dress. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah. Very well. <laughs> there. The Temple of Light. Groa's Shrine is at the top. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Do that. Became of Kavasir. Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of the audience. Well, Thor.
Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa! Is that a bomb? We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Yeah. Best to move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. <laughs> it's up last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? 
That's just how they looked before the division. The division? Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimble winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... That's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They Best may just to let these two do their thing, brother. It's done! Find your brother! on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Ah. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. It looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to look at the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? to return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the light elf's success came at a terrible price. 
Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Gotta be a better angle on that twilight. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. want the souls in the light left alone. The light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. I think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. Thanks, dear. My pleasure. Oh, 
Back to it then. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprise. Esteem. I suppose I'll leave you to it. side. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. Getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. That's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. The battle he offers a counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Guess he's in the light now, too.
this mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. Come. Do what you must. Slidor! In making light bridges look at this statue these crystals I've noticed them on the elves as well <laughs> I wonder if this statue were to fall over the chasm Crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? He feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Ah! Ah, the Nornir. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, Baba. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns, nor do I wish to try. quicker, I think.
And here we go again. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a last defense may have formed. Now. Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. Wrong one. Well, fine, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. Last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wonder what became of Sparky. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be a storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. 